Let's talk about Japan. First recommendation, how to watch a sumo game in Japan. So every year, there are six tournaments happening in different cities. Sometimes in Tokyo, in Osaka, in Nagoya, etc. I will include the name of the website. Go check the website and check when you are going. And if you will be there during the tournament, I highly recommend book a, a, a spot, go watch a sumo game. It's a unique thing. It's a very, very Japanese experience. And for, for booking it, you, can, you will book it on the website. You can pay online and everything. So it's not complicated. All you got to do is check if the tournament is happening while you're there. Second thing is that how to meet a geisha. So geishas normally are most of them located and situated in Kyoto, especially in Gion Street. But there are two things. If you want just to see a geisha walking around or a maiko, uh, you, can, you can see them in the street. Just go there, chill maybe at a cafe, or, and then you know within an hour or something, you will definitely see one or two. But if you want to meet one, actually, actually, you may need to book a tea ceremony. It's a very interesting event. You get to learn a lot about Japanese culture and this, this very intricate part of the Japanese culture, as well as to learn about geishas and to get interact with them and probably even get a chance to play with a maiko. There are sometimes some fun and easy games you can play with them. Um, so yeah, give it a try, Kyoto, Gion. Another unique Japanese experience is samurai or ninja. So in Kyoto, there is a museum, I will include the name here, where you can go and have like a, a training kind of, you know, for like an hour or two of how to, you know, how to hold the sword properly, how to use the sword, how to swing, etc. Also, you get to learn how to throw the, 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 the star thingy. The shuriken, they call it, I guess, in Japanese. Uh, you know, and other things. And also you learn about the history of samurais and ninjas. I think it's also quite a unique experience. Give it a try if you have time. Another amazing and unique experience is to go to Nara Park in Nara. It's just like about 40 minutes from Osaka or from Kyoto. And you can spend just half a day if you don't have much time. And you will get to interact with this deer. First of all, you can feed the deer, you can pet the deer, and these deer are so unique that they bow like Japanese people. Like it's absolutely one of the most unique and beautiful experiences. Super, super fun. I highly recommend it. Nara Park, it's for free. You only have to buy the crackers. If you want, it's optional, like to feed the deer, because if you don't have the food, they may not come to you, so you may not have the chance to interact with them and pet them. But if you have food, they will come to you like in numbers. So it's just 200 yen. You, you buy the cracker and you feed them. They bow to you. You can pet them, take pictures, videos, whatever you want. You will absolutely love it. Another experience that I think it will also be very nice is staying at a capsule hotel. Capsule hotels cost between three to 4,000 yen. I stayed at one called Nine Hours. They are all located next to train stations or airports. I guess there is even one at the airport. I think you should give it a try, a capsule hotel. If you never stayed at one, give it a try. Another recommended thing to do in Japan, absolutely, you got to take the fastest train on the planet, the Shinkansen, the bullet train. Depends on the budget. You can take one from like Osaka to Kyoto. That, that should be the cheapest one, like from Kyoto to Osaka, Osaka to Kyoto. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. Or you can take one from Osaka to Tokyo or vice versa. It takes about two hours and it costs between $100. It's phenomenal, the speed of that beast. But at the same time, you feel so comfortable. You don't feel that speed. Oh, for me, that was a really, really, really beautiful experience. Give it a try. And finally, I advise you to go to an arcade, especially when you are in Tokyo. I think it's, a, it's one of those experiences. You go to an arcade, play some games. I think it's super, super fun. Like regardless of if you're a gamer or no, you will definitely find a game or two that you like. They cost only like 100 yen per, per round per game. 
that's like 70 cents you know you can pay like three to five rounds for like i don't know three bucks or something for such experiences is super cheap like it's it's nothing it's nothing so definitely go to an arcade another interesting experience in japan is animal cafes now there are some there are some very interesting animal cafes in japan that i'm not sure that they exist in other countries yet like they have owl cafes where you can interact and pet owls they have like hedgehog cafes capybara cafes shiba inu cafes like this is a, a japanese dog i think that's very japanese and very unique and more of the types of cafes so i definitely recommend to give it a try at least go to one of these and if you love more animals you may want to see more well i guess that's it i mean i still can recommend tons of other things but i don't want to make this video really long let me know in the comments if you want part two i can recommend like more specifically like which spot to go to when you are in tokyo and osaka etc um so i hope this video was beneficial was helpful if you like it Please follow for more and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.